Hey guys, so today I thought it might be helpful for some of you to um, see how I do my edits for my self-tape auditions on iMovie. I've used iMovie for many years. Recently I transitioned to using Premiere Pro because I have a YouTube channel and I like to explore different ways of editing and filming and things like that. But I did use iMovie, which I got for free with my computer for the longest time. And um, it's really easy and I wanted to show you what I do if if you're a beginner actor exactly all of the shortcuts to do what I cut do I how I label these files do I put my name on the screen how I do the transitions all of that um, for this one in particular we're going to be editing a commercial audition that I recently got from SF casting and um, it was a self tape audition request from SF casting and uh, we're going to edit that on iMovie and I'm going to show you every single step I'm going to do my best to not edit too much out so you can see everything and put timestamps in the description so you can see exactly what I do if you're interested in you know the end how do I transition out of the video do I do an abrupt ending I think my self tape auditions are pretty good as far as uh you know how the professional they look and I don't think it's very hard at all I use iMovie nothing very fancy I use some of their transitions some of their title cards um so let me show you so let's pretend you never even have got opened iMovie so what you can do is actually search it a few different ways if you want to go to the top right and get the magnifying glass here you could search iMovie and then it should load and if you haven't ever opened it it's going to say welcome to iMovie you just can click ahead or look at those videos or um, description of the program and it looks like mine is loading right here, but as soon as it loads, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna teach you how to import some of the footage, to import your audition in order to edit it. You can save it onto your desktop if you wanna have a really easy, quick way to find it. I like to have it on my folder because I have a drive. I have an SSD drive. Um, I have an SSD, so I have my folder in there, but I highly suggest making a folder on your desktop or on some kind of drive where it says auditions so that you always know where your auditions go to. You don't want to randomly save your audition and then you can't find it and you'll have to download it again. But I suggest keeping your auditions organized and then you can also refer to them in the future or reuse some portion of it if you can, like the slate if you're wearing the same outfit but make sure you have a folder on your desktop or somewhere that uh, you can put all of your auditions in and refer to in the future and this shouldn't take too long um, definitely when you first start editing your auditions it's going to take a while for you to get used to but after a bit if you are confident with the takes that you have and you know which ones you want to select it shouldn't take you more than like 30 minutes to edit it but that's after you've had plenty of practice when i first started recording my own auditions and editing my own auditions i took a long time but now i know roughly which shot i liked while i was filming it and i know which ones i want so this is the basically the home page of imovie i'm going to click on the plus and then click on movie because this just allows you to create whatever you want no templates or anything so to import your media this time i'm just going to click on this one to show you and right here you can if you had it on your desktop of course you can select desktop and then grab it but mine is on this drive so i'm going to find it here okay so i found my footage i'm just going to um control click on the first of the videos control click on the last one and that one will select all of them and then i'm going to put import all and then um, all of this footage uh, it might have a circle that's basically like it's loading and you can start editing sometimes if you start editing before that it's complete before it's completely uploaded onto imovie it'll be a little bit slow but don't worry sometimes when you do, do things on imovie it's just a bit slow so I have my general footage on here. I can tell on here that this is my slate because like I said, it's a, a it's a commercial audition and they asked me to do my slate, a full body shot, everything that you're seeing on here, they asked me, they specifically told me to do these shots. They wanted a close up, a wide, one even closer, a full body shot, everything you're seeing on here. But today, of course, we're going to focus on editing. I have other videos on how to do the actual auditions. Um, so I'm going to start by selecting my which slate that I want. And let's see. OK, this is the this is a shot of my slate that I took. So I'm just going to take that and then um, I'm going to click right here. And if you do 
command B, that's going to snip it right there. So command B, I'm hovering my mouse exactly where I want it to be cut. Command B and then you see how it's so highlighted yellow. You can just press delete and that'll delete that. And now I'm gonna look at my slate and select the pieces that I do want. And then I can cut it and put my full body shot. Hi, my name is Belgica Rodriguez. I'm in San Jose, 510, and I'm auditioning for Michaela. Okay, I don't love that I didn't, I wasn't able to see my ear on the first one. I really thought you could, but you couldn't. It's okay. Um, next time we'll do better. So again, I'm going to click on this clip and then command B to cut it. I know this is what I don't want. And then I need a full body shot because they wanted a couple of seconds of a full body shot. And I like to move a little bit during this full body shot just because it looks less like a picture in an actual video. So I'm gonna select a piece when, where I'm not moving too much, but you can see my entire body. Again, I selected the, the clip and then I command B. Okay, I think that's good enough. So command B again. And then I'm gonna delete the rest of this because um, I don't need any of this. And then if you wanted to see your clips further or closer, like you wanna zoom in, you can use this up here. Um, okay, so this is going to be my slate. Let me see if it's too long. Okay, this one I think is a little bit too long. Another way that you can cut your clips or just shorten it is if you go towards the end and just hover above, you'll get two arrows. You can just shorten it like this. And I think I'm gonna make this, it's almost three seconds. I think that's good enough. Yeah, okay, so I like that. So now I'm gonna quickly go back to the beginning and add my name now that I have my slate and I go up to titles. And then I like to put my name on the lower left. So I like this one, reveal lower third, double click on it and it'll appear on here. And then you can, whoops, you can just click on it and then it'll be highlighted like this. Or you can just delete it and then put your name. I really don't hate this font or style and I like the how it fades out. So. Hi, my name is Belgica Rodriguez. I'm in San Jose, 510, and I'm auditioning for Michaela. So that's, I like how that looks. I'm just going to make it a little bit longer so that it my name goes away as I'm showing my profiles. For Michaela. I like to put my name because it's not a name that a lot of people know. It's not as common as other names. And also they don't have to look at the name of the file or the email or anything. They can just see on the screen, this is this actor's name and it's really easy. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my media up here and I'm gonna select the actual audition. And in the description of this audition, they did say that first they wanted a little bit more of a wide angle shot, me working on my computer, then a tighter shot, working on my computer, satisfied as what at what I'm doing. And then the last one is as if I was on a Zoom call. The last clip that they wanna see is as if I was on a Zoom call talking to a coworker. So I know that my next one is this. I'm trying to remember which one is the one that I like the lighting for the best. Um, yeah, I believe it was this one. So, oh yeah, and you can preview your clips by just hovering over them like this. Um, and you can play them too if you just keep your mouse on it and go and um, click on the space bar then you can take a look. But I know this is the one I wanted, so I'm gonna select a few clips. They did wanna see me walking in, so I'm gonna start it uh, right there. Command B. Okay, I think that's long enough. Command B again to clip it, and then I'm just gonna click on that one and press delete to delete it. Um, now that I have my first clip, I want to put a transition right here between my slate and my actual audition just 
for it to look more professional. So I'm gonna go to transitions and big shout out to Ranjeev from the Meisner Center because I took a self tape audition uh, course with him. And one of the things he said was, you know, you don't wanna just end things abruptly or you wanna put transitions and just make it nice. And I don't know why, but in the past I thought, oh, it's just a self tape. Like they don't really care about how professional it looks, but it does really look so much nicer. So why not do it? So big shout out to him for him to like you know showing me like hey like this obvious thing of course you want it to send it looking good so he's like put transitions and just don't make it so abrupt and leave a little bit of time so that the video doesn't just like all of a sudden end you know so they can enjoy watching the audition more so uh i'm gonna put a transition right here i let's see what do we want cross blur i like cross blur I'm gonna put it, so I'm gonna just click it and then drag it over here. And then now you have a half second transition. Oh, I don't know if I like that one for this actually. I want something maybe a little bit more chill. How about cross dissolve? Yes, okay, I like it. So cross, I used cross dissolve for that one. And then again, I'm gonna go back to my media and now I'm gonna do a tighter shot of me working. Let's do the second one. And then for this one, I already am working on something. So I'm actually gonna see where my eyes were and then start the next one where my eyes were just so it makes a little bit more sense like story-wise. Um, okay, my eyes are looking down, so I'm going to start with this one, my eyes looking down a little bit. I think that's a little bit l lower than, not completely down, but lower. Okay, I like that. I don't know if it's too long yet, but let's delete that. Okay, it's only 43 seconds so far. Um, Sorry, I keep trying to use the Premiere Pro shortcuts. That's why it's like, burr, burr. okay. Um, and then the last thing is this line, and I it's a line that I just improv And usually for me, the last few takes are the takes that I like the best. So I'm just gonna look at the last takes really quick. It just, it just feels like my slate is going to be hours, and it was just that I was debugging. Okay, I like this one because it looks like I'm paying attention um, to somebody that's talking and then I react to them. So let's delete that. I was debugging, I was debugging for hours and it was just that one line. So you, um, by the way, you don't have to select the clip in order to command B, but I personally like to because I, I just like to know exactly what I'm working on. I've ha clicked on other things before, but this is the one I chose. So I'm paying attention and then I say my improv line. I was line, debugging for hours and it was just that one line. And I'm going to leave just a little bit of a drag. So right before I start moving or a little bit of time. Oops. It was just that one line. So I'm just gonna leave a little bit of time at the end so that again, I can transition it out. So I'm gonna go back to transitions and I'm gonna fade to black. Do I have fade to black? Yes, right here. Fade to black at the end and then it looks nicer. It looks like it, you know, Hi, it finishes. And this is the entire audition. And I'm auditioning for Michaela. When you do it, make sure you can see your ears, both of them, darn. I was debugging for hours and it was just that one line. 
Okay, and now to export it once you're done with everything, how do you get this out of iMovie into a file so you can send it? You can click on the top right right here and then export file if you wanna give it to them through WeTransfer or a raw file, G Drive, whatever you want. You can do it through here and this will save it onto your desktop or wherever you want it. When you get a self tape audition, they'll tell you what to title it, but usually it should be your name and the job and role or the job and your agency. Um, video or audio, because you can also edit your voiceover auditions here if you wanted to, and then the size of the file, 1080. I usually try to make it as nice as possible, and it's already pretty fast, so I'm just gonna leave that as is, and then click next, and uh, it will ask you where you want it to be located. Again, if you want it to just be easy on yourself, be able to find it quickly, put it on your desktop. So it's done. It's been maybe like a minute or so. So it's successfully exported. But that is how I edit self-tape auditions on iMovie. Let me know if you have any other questions. And at the end of every video, I feature another channel. This is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and leave me a comment.